Well, here we are, it's box number four, and it looks like we're trending towards a zero legendary case, which is depressing, <laughs> but you never know. This could be the thing. Still haven't found my thingy. I don't know where that thing is, that cutting, that box cutter tool. So I'm just using the scissors. Maybe next time I'll use something more imaginative. I don't know. Like my teeth or, you know, the bone of an animal. That would be pretty cool, actually. Go get a bone of an animal, sharpen it up. Use that to cut open all of my flesh and blood boxes. Just to really sell out for the theme. That would be sweet. If I really liked Reinar, maybe that would be something he would do. Reinar's pretty cool. Man, all the, uh... All the old school heroes. Some of them are going to be really, really good going forward, I think. Um, and that's not even talking about kingdoms. Just like in this current monarch situation. I'm talking like Reinar with some of the cards. Like Pulping. He'd be pretty good with Pulping. Uh, with this Meat Axe. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, there's other cards too. There's other he heroes as well that I'm, I'm keen to try. Again, I'm holding off with, with the Foil Illuminate, holding off to really dig into all of the old stuff until I've had a chance to play the new stuff. Though, I, you know, I may not have too much time. New Baby and all might get in the way a little bit of, of some of that. We'll see. Nevertheless, I am looking forward. Oh my goodness, with the Foil Lumina Ascension. You know, if this were a first edition box, you know that would be the extended art. It would, it would wait till the end, right? It would wait right to the end of the case, and then it would pop right out. That's a pretty one, man. And if you're gonna pick up a Foil Lumina Ascension, might as well be an unlimited copy. Unless you, oh, and look, I see it. Do you see it? Do you know what that card is? That's Deep Rooted Evil in the back. This was a, the old Double Majestic pack. Everybody loves a good Double Majestic pack every now and, now and again, right? We got the foil, we got the non-foil, that. That's a solid pack. That's one of those packs you want to open when you're doing a, a single pack opening video. When it's just like one one pack, crack it open. That sort of stuff. I want to see a legendary man. Come on. Is it here? Is it here? No, it's not. It's a foil spew shadow. Stupid, not a legendary. Battlefield Blitz in the back. With the, uh, with the time skippers. Time Skippers in Cold Foil. I'd like to put Time Skippers into a deck just to say that I've done that. Just to say that I've put Time Skippers into a deck. So guys, we hit the 4K. Look, you can see above my head. We are at 4K with a Zealous Belting Foil, which is exciting. And we have a four, oh, and a Dimensional Crossroads, which is also exciting. I still gotta make a deck where that is like the goal. I don't know if that's actually how you should build decks in Flesh and Blood. I, in fact, I'm, I'm gonna say it's not. You shouldn't build decks in Flesh and Blood around a single card. But I think putting Dimensional Crossroads in to a deck would be pretty cool. Trying to build around it, quote unquote, even though you don't really wanna build around it so much. Nevertheless, I think that would be pretty sweet. Bounding Demagon, we got the Iron Hide, followed by the Howl and the Battlefield Blitz. Nevertheless, I think there's a... Uh, there's some, uh, there's some exciting things going on with this channel. I am currently in the process of working on retooling um, and kind of upgrading the Patreon subscriptions. This is kind of channel talk. Channel talk while we wait for... Whoa, oh, just a Battlefield Blitz foil rare. While we wait for a Legendary. We're in the Legendary waiting room. Anyway, I'm, I'm going through the process of... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be adding some patron tiers. Uh, gonna be giving some incentives to the $5 tier uh, because there's a lot of people that have done that and I want to just say thank you to those that have just committed hard to that. Oh, with beautiful spears. Beautiful spears of surreality. Look at that. I get my big old thumb out of the way. That's pretty. This goes there. Then we have a writhing beast hulk followed by an unhallowed rites. I'm gonna be uh, doing like a, a pack a month kind of a thing. People will be getting some some packs of uh, of some TCG stuff, maybe a card, that sort of thing, just as a way to uh, say thank you. Just give more um, incentives to you guys, or just some more thank you. That is super dark. That's a really dark foil. Yeah, yeah you can't really even see the foiling on that. That's really, really dark. I'm trying to get it in any way, shape, or form I can. Uh, invigorating, followed by Herald of Triumph. 
And then I'm gonna add, there's, there's something else kind of big that I'm working on that I think is kind of cool personally. Personally. Um, and that's gonna be, there's gonna be a new slot for, uh, for Patreon members, for patrons, Void Wraith, that I'm, that I'm currently working on, trying to get that to, uh, to standard level so that you guys can enjoy it. But, I'm super excited that we're at the 4K mark, and that we're climbing nice and steady. That's really fun. Then we go to 5K? Five, whoa, does that look different? What is with this? Whoa, do you guys see this? Look at the, okay, see that over there? Look at that. Now compare that to literally the same board. Do you see that? That's a legit cool misprint. I'm, I can't decide if I like that better. Oh my gosh, it's ink bleed. Dude, that's totally ink bleed. Uh, let me focus this, this is really cool, hold on. I know this is not the point of the video. I get that, but I'm just gonna just gonna take a moment to really push this thing forward and to really change the focus. Look, look, look! The guy down here and down here, those two guys, that's like ink ink stain. That is pretty cool. I like that. What a weird card! Blood tribute followed by memorial ground and a foil rare rise above. Shines a little bit. Doesn't shine bright like a diamond, though. Hey, and the Rise Above blue right behind it. A double rare Rise Above pack, which is kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I'm also looking for other ideas for things to do just for all of us. Like, what, what would be fun to do? I know there's a lot of people doing, well, not a lot, but there's a good number of people doing, like, box breaks and case breaks and that sort of thing. Wait a minute. This is another one. That's not... That's not the camera. That's actually that blue. Oh my goodness. Does it? Okay, stop. Stop. Everybody stop. Hold on. Do we Have we opened another ghostly visit? This one? Is there another ghostly visit that we've opened thus far? In this, in this box? We have. Look. Okay. Okay, let's compare. This is the standard ghostly visit. Okay. This... Whoa, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know, I, I might actually like that more. And they did the thing again, too. Is the... Those are like the same color. What is that? That can't be on purpose, right? And a foil rare invigorating light, by the way. Pretty. That can't be on purpose, can it? Captain's Call and Glisten's been sitting in the back that whole time. Dude, I'm gonna start a stack. Okay, over there's the stack of misprint like ink incorrectly inked cards because those are cool i kind of like those man i i kind of i kind of want more of those now let's let's not go too fast because we might hit one nope that that oh look there's another one oh my gosh look at this look at this weird stuff going on it was a blue ink bleed oh my god i'm putting that in the stack that is so cool please I would love of one of the foil cards to have that problem. Unhallowed and a soul harvest in the back. Okay, I, we have not hit anything spicy in this box. I guess the, the foil Lumina Ascension's pretty spicy. That's pretty spicy. Dude, though, I'm, I'm curious. It looks like, okay, so these are all commons that it's spilled on. So now I'm just gonna keep my eye out for all these commons. Foil rare dimensional gateway, yellow, it's pretty. Soul Reaping and a Vexing Malice in the back. Oh my god, I don't even care. Forget Legendaries. Give me more ink block cards. Give me more miscolored cards. Come on. Anything? 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 No? Oh, no, no, no more misprinted cards. That's a pretty one, though. Foil Enigma Chimera. Yeah, these foils don't pop as uh, as much. Writhing Beast Hulk, and a, hey, we got a Majestic Bolting Blade. Bolting Blade's a pretty good card. One that I have two of in my current iteration of my Charge Bolton. It's interesting, though, because, like, on one of those big turns that you do on a Charge Bolton turn, like, starting with V of the Vanguard, it actually, um, if you, like, charge two cards, it actually pays off more. Is it, oh, what's that other card that gets the buff? 
foil bounding demagon. There's there's another card that gets like a, a plus three buff. I think it's like Valiant Thrust. That one's also like almost just as good, if not better, than Bolting Blade sometimes. Because of the buff that it gets if you charge. And because of the V of the Vanguard. So like it's it's kind of interesting to have a powerful card like Bolting Blade and then to go, oh, you know, you can do the same thing. A little. Rising Solar Tide as the foil. You can do the same thing with like a common. Valiant Thrust followed by the Bacon of Victory. Dude, we've had a couple of those now. I think in this single case we've gotten three different Beacon of Victories. Which is pretty cool. That's a lot of victory in this case. Except the fact that we've like not not gotten any legendaries. But you know, maybe maybe they're just changing the distribution. Maybe that's like on purpose. Maybe that's the goal. I feel like my screen got brighter. Ooh, and a beautiful seeds. Beautiful foil seeds of agony. Yeah, these foils, man, they, they don't look as bright. They are definitely darker. Herald and a trimmer. Definitely darker. It does make me want to see a foil fabled. Rainbow foil fable. The pictures look cool. In fact, I think the pictures of the Rainbow Foil Fable look better than the pictures of the Cold Foil Fable. That's just me personally. We got Illuminate, we got a Foil Deadwood Rumbler, Blood Drop, Trimmer, and a Convulsions. Oh, from the Bellas of Hell. I still want to hold a Fable library. I want the library in my hands. It may not even be my card, I just want to hold someone else's library. Seems weird. It's a weird way to say that, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just roll with it. Where are all the other misprinted, cool, stained cards? Give me more of those too. Hey, look at this! A foil bolting blade. That's an interesting hit. Followed by a couple of cards that are meh. There we go. Foil bolting blade is interesting because now we have two of those in this box. Look how heavy this box is for uh, warrior stuff. We've got the foil lumina, foil bolting blade. Non-foil Bolting Blade, non-foil Beacon of Victory, that's crazy. That's a lot of Light Warrior stuff. Is that one? No. I'm just, I'm just on the hunt for those ink blotted cards. They gotta be more in here, right? There have to be. Writhing Beast Hulk, Consuming Aftermath, nothing to write home about. It's gonna be a zero legendary case. That's, <laughs> that's kinda crazy, man. One of these days, we'll open a legendary on camera. Literally, the only legendaries I've opened on camera are the two that I did for that stream, which is pretty crazy. Ooh, a beautiful foil Herald of Judgment, though. That is a pretty card. Endless, and another, oh, look at this, another majestic Mark of the Beast. What a pretty card. Okay, where were we? I had a crisis with a, a young one. I had a young one crisis. I'm just hanging out, popping packs while the kids are, uh, the kids are just chilling. But one of them needed my help, and so I had to go help. But uh, let's find out what we have left in this box. I'm curious. We have the Foil Illuminate, followed by a Halo of Illumination, Pulping, and a Soul Food Majestic. Two Majestics back to back. That puts us pretty close to our number, right? I would imagine that we're pretty close. Based, I'm trying to think. We only have two packs left, so we're, we're going to find out pretty quick anyway. Oh, never legendary, never lucky. Maybe next time. We, we do have another full case, so maybe the other case has some spice. This one was kind of interesting, though, this box, because I enjoyed seeing these, like, weird prints. Foil Unworldly Bellow. Glisten and a Parable of Humility. And our last pack of the, of the case. Our last pack of the case. Wouldn't you know it. Probably no legendary. <laughs> oh, man! Uh, oh, look, that one's cool. Look at that weird blue brandish. Look at all that. I'm putting that in the stack. Oh, this one has a little bit too. No, maybe that's part of the art. That's part of the art. That's got to be part of the art, right? Someone check that. Oh, we could probably check that. Dude, I'm kind of excited though. Some of these are really cool. Nope. Courageous Steel Hand. Ah, uh, a no legendary case. Oh my goodness, another one. But look at these cool, weirdly printed cards. Huh, I wonder if these fit together somehow. This one looks like it really got hit by it. But maybe it didn't. Maybe maybe that's just like what it normally looks like. I don't know. There's a lot on this side too. Very, very strange stuff indeed. Nevertheless, we have the soul food. We've got the mark of the beast. Beacon of victory. Bolting blade. Dimensional crossroad. 
We've got the deep rooted evil, and then foil. We have foil bolting blade and a foil lumina ascension, which aren't as poppin when you see them in the sleeve, but they are very pretty still, especially when you get them at the right angle. Unfortunately, the uh, the light is literally at the right angle, so it kind of kills the uh, kills the vibe for the camera. Nevertheless, if you want to pick these up, head on over to Midtown Merchant. Dot com. Mitch over there sent us this box, so thank you, Mitch, for sending us uh, these uh, these boxes and cases. We're gonna try to get a legendary in case number two. If we don't, just more despair. <laughs> more? Do you want to see me more despairing? Because if you do, you might see that if we don't hit a legendary in case number two. As always, everybody, thanks for watching. <laughs>